Welcome back to Off the Couch. I'm your host, Brad Jacobson. I'm actually choosing the Toyota Sequoia today for our guest because he's got kids, he's got grandkids, he's got friends of the kids and grandkids. He's always got a bunch of people, so you need a bunch of room to fit them all into. Not only that, this guy's got two houses at the river where he needs something that can tow boats and jet skis and the motorcycles. He does it all. So I'm really excited about our guest today. We're going to grab him and head over to his home city of El Segundo. All right, so my guest today is none other than Alex Abad. Alex, thanks for coming on. Hey, man, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. You had mentioned that you grew up uh, in Argentina. Yeah, was born in Argentina, came to the U.S. Uh, with my mom and dad, my brother, 1968. Landed in Hawthorne. How old were you when you came right. here? I was 10. 10, okay. 10 years old. Growing up in Argentina, I was always, you know, half a block away from the water there was a really large river that we we lived by right and so the first thing i asked my dad when we got here was where was the river and he <laughs> says well there's a really big river straight down this street which was rosecrans yeah, yeah yeah do you remember your first surfboard it was a a brand new dewey weber and the way that that oh. came about i was at the at redondo beach the, they used to have a really large slot car track there in and redondo in redondo right on the pier wow. right right by the marina I and some people might remember that or not but Really large track. Anyways, I was there, and uh, this guy comes up uh, with with looked like a brand new surfboard, right. nine, nine footer, beautiful red and white, do Weber with a big large you know wooden fin, and he said, hey, um, um, would you, you want to buy it? And I said, sure. How much? He said, a dollar. Dollar. <laughs> so, so it was like, wow. Hey, that's well, not, that's not bad. Well, I didn't have a dollar, so I I, oh, no. I, I I told the guy, well, let me let me reach into my little toolbox here, and I'll, I'll give you this controller for the slot cars and yeah, you can take yeah. this controller which you can probably get five bucks right at the at the track yeah and so we made a trade he, he didn't realize that the controller wasn't working but it's okay <laughs> put the board through my dad who was who had a, a, a an amc javelin put it through the back and it looked like an airplane going down the street so he had it sideways yeah, totally sideways yeah, 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 just yeah. cooked out <laughs> completely cooked out made it to <laughs> made it almost home and then we got a ticket got pulled over no. got a ticket for <laughs> For, I think uh, it costs a lot more than a surfboard. Oh, way more. Yeah. So, but that was my that was my uh, my ticket to start surfing. This is a nice rig, though, by the way. I love this thing. It's it's like it drives like a car. Yeah. This is uh, this is beautiful. Definitely right up your alley. You've got two kids, two kids, uh, not little kids. A Amy's uh, 34. My son Alex, Alex Jr. is 33, and uh, so, and, and Amy's got four little girls. And I have two great names. So I've had Too great days. Days. <laughs> yeah, great Danes at 185 pounds a piece, so we need be big vehicles. How'd you meet your wife? The, the long and the short of it, Doreen, <clears throat> my wife, she was in the she's been in the fitness industry for forever. And at one time I decided to let me just check out what the you know what the scene is at all these different gyms. Uh, I went to this this gym and and and, and I, I see like a hundred people outside this door and there's this little little girl, because my wife's like five feet tall. Right maybe 100 pounds and she was wearing a skin colored you know Ooh, that'll catch your eye and i thought <laughs> second take i thought maybe she was she was wearing like yeah nothing. I yeah, thought, yeah oh yeah. my god and i thought well you know she's a really good reason for, for me to be in that class i guess whatever that class is yeah, so i'm she, gonna take it <laughs> i'm gonna take that class what was it it was oh, an aerobic class. Oh, nice. But what happened was as soon nice. as the doors opened up, everybody just jammed in there. Oh, yeah. And I looked through the window, and then she goes up on stage, and I'm like, oh, my God, she's the instructor. She I'm out of here. So I, I, I never, <laughs> never went in. So anyways, long story short, one day she asked me for, uh, you know, you want to get a cup of coffee? So she actually asked me out. Nice. Which was, made it really easy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and that's how, that's how I met my wife. That's wild. how I began. Yeah. I love it. And uh, we've been married for... I think it's 27 years. I hope I'm not wrong because I'll hear about it. <laughs> but uh, 27 years, man, and uh, she's like a brand Valentine's new. Valentine's Day is coming up. She's not going to be happy if you're wrong. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, she's like a brand new car every day. She's amazing. Oh, so that's I've great. Been very, very fortunate to have that's someone great. like her in my life. So now we're turning into El Segundo. I've been in El Segundo for nearly 30 years, and this wow. is where uh, I moved here just by accident. Ended up raising my family here, so my kids went from kindergarten through high school here. And it's just been an amazing place, uh, you know, to raise a family. Sierra, turn it right here. Yeah, nice. Well, this thing handles nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Where are you taking me to? This area is referred to as a Smoky Hollow uh, area of El Segundo. Smoky Hollow got its name from, you know, years and years ago when, when Chevron, this little valley area used to be a little hazy, right? And of course, there's none of that now, but that's where it's got its name. So the reason we stopped here is because I know that you like <laughs> I the old, It's a really cool building. You, you were f fond of the old El Segundo 
uh, yes, bakery, old, which was on, yes. um, on, on Grand, there's a, a wonderful young girl who grew up in town, Jenna, who started the Smoky Hollow uh, Baking Company. Wow. And, and, and she just does amazing, amazing stuff. So I thought we'd yeah, just let's go. Let's say, go check it out. I love the building. Jenna, this is crazy. I know, it's an amazing building. Jenna! Hi, Jenna. How are you doing? Hi, how are you Pleasure doing? to meet you. Thank you so much. This is, this is a really cool place. Thank you. Wow. How Good. long have you guys been open here? We've been here for about a year now. Oh, so cool. Yeah, we love this little town. Also, I knows the best. So, Alex got us make a special treat for you if you're interested. Alex. Alex, that's awesome. Wow. Look at this. It even has the Civic really House cool. logo on there. Got to try this. Yeah, Derek this Levy, good. pay attention. You got me cheap donuts. He's got me personalized cupcakes. <laughs> gotta step it up, Derek. No big deal. No big deal. Mm. Yeah, that sounded good. Mm hmm So good. I know. I know. That's the thing about her stuff, not only does it mm. look good, it really tastes amazing. Well, thank you so much, and yeah, uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Coming by. Thanks, Thanks Jenna. Alex. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Downtown El Segundo. For people who don't have never seen it, you can kind of think of like. Uh, you know, leave it to beaver style. Yeah. This is this is what I get to feel. This is why I love it down here so yeah. much. It feels like a really small, tight community where you tend to get to know most people. And the community is just an amazing community that kind of looks out for its own. It looks like it's a lot of like mom and pop style stores mm -hmm. where it's not big names. We got an American flag hanging out in the street sign. How great is that? I know. It's this amazing. is great. This is yeah. amazing. When we first moved to El Segundo, a lot of these stores weren't here. There were older stores, a lot, a lot less retail. Right. There were no coffee shops, and uh, now we got uh, you know the Blue Butterfly, which has been around for a long time, right. and Two Guns. I mean, there's just a ton of new retail, mom and pop, really good businesses that have come into town. Every so often, every city has its highly, des you know, it yeah. becomes highly desirable, and it becomes it. Right. And it, the buzz now is that El Segundo is it. Right. So if, if you want to if you want to be able to find an affordable home, if you want to raise your kids in a great community, if you want schools that are rated, you know, 9, 10, right. and you want a coastal community where you is can it? still, you know, ride your bike down to the beach. Right. And you can't ride it back up. Uh, you can. <laughs> it just keeps your legs in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's a very healthy yeah. ride to the beach. Right now, Grand, you go to the end of Grand, and uh, you got a parking lot. Growing up, there was no parking there. Right. Uh, there was no bike path. Growing up, we actually used to surf, you know, the oil pier because the oil pier now has, has become the jetty, you know, right. Hammerland. So, but at that time, it was it was the oil pier, and we used to park at El Porto, right. and then walk on the sand all the way and make our way to the oil pier, walk okay. underneath the oil pier, and then surf the light, the left or the right. And you can no smell way. oil. Oh no, there'd be oil. And of course you had to time the, the, the tide right, because if it was big yeah. and the tide you was high, the pier. You're, gonna, you're gonna paddle back, because there was yeah. no bike path. There was no place to walk. Oh, right, so right, So it was right. just the, 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 the water, the sand, and, and the brake wall. A lot of us, three, four of us, would, would start walking, and there'd be nobody there. It'd be yeah. like, we were, we were the crowds. It was amazing. Oh. I don't know if people know this, you still ride motocross. Yeah. I mean, that's riding. like a young man's sport. It is, it is. <laughs> and, and, but see, between the, wife's between not the telling left you, and hey. right ear, I still think I'm 25. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a problem. <laughs> and, the wife never <laughs> says, hey, why don't we leave this to the kids? No, she, yeah, she does. She reminds me when she's helping me put my pants on in the morning <laughs> that you might want to <laughs> reel it back. But I, I don't think I'm, I'm not ready to do that. So here is what, what you notice throughout you know, the entire city is that we don't have any parking meters. That's so right. you just park, we're right. cruising. Um, you go where you want to go, you It's park super and, relaxed, yeah. exactly. Within walking distance, you know, a block, two blocks, right. you got amazing restaurants. That's what, yeah, that's like we said. And you got free parking. You and free parking, <laughs> right. What is a unhealthy food that you cannot say no to? Um, you know, I like the, the barbecue like sausages. Oh yeah, yeah, with, yeah. That's a good so, one. With sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the pizza I'm out of control with. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza, you know what my mother-in-law says? She's never had a bad pizza. That's awesome. You're stranded on a deserted island. Yeah. You either got alone, just by yourself, or someone who does not stop talking. Where do you go with? I'd probably rather be alone. Yeah. Then right. you can always talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're there long enough, you probably develop the, you know, a split personality and you know, always have a great conversation. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh my gosh, look at this. We got the mayor of El Segundo here. <laughs> and you've known Alex for a while, right? 20 years probably. Yeah, at least. You're 24, 20 so yeah. yeah. Surf trips together and Ex Mex. And yeah. Other so wait, do you have a really fun story about him that he may not want to hear on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, my life, is I, my life is an open book. Uh, well, all right. I mean, we have had our experience <laughs> surfing the East Cape of Cabo. Right. And both of us having a minor version of Montezuma's Revenge. Ooh. And, while we're like. <laughs> Oh, surfing. You're going to go to that story? <laughs> really? You said open <laughs> book. Well, <laughs> well I think that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's a private book. <laughs> Actually, two Sundays ago, literally, I checked Facebook. I see a picture of Alex with his bike in his rack somewhere close to the jetty. Yeah. And I was kind of like having those mornings where, ah, it doesn't look too good. Right. But Alex puts this like totally positive, optimistic post. So I just get on my bike, who's down there. And I see you in the lineup. Eric Bush, the former mayor, is coming out of the water. Yep. So, um, you know, he's always just setting the trend in terms of pushing the envelope and being positive. Having fun. Oh, he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's being Having great. Fun. He's one of the guys that would surf a one foot day. Big grin, mm -hmm. smile yep. face on him. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when it's double overhead, so. Yeah, with a different kind of a grin. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. You know, Drew is an amazing businessman. Right. He's, yeah. He, he does so good for our town. He's uh, he's he's got such a giving heart. His 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 business, his family, his company, they they do so much for the community. It's just right. amazing. So we're right. we're really fortunate to have a guy who's a waterman. Right. Who uh, just loves the town. Super sharp. And uh, it's really as special to call him a friend. Yeah. But you recently got an award from the city. Because you do a lot. You have Tower 60, right? Tower 60 is the El Segundo Tower at the end of Grand. Right. And, you know, like a long story short, uh, I took a photo of the tower one time when they were having the fires uh, three years ago in the valley. And the photo was a really cool photo that a lot of people, when I put it on Facebook, a lot of people requested a copy of it. So I, nice. I, I gave it out. <clears throat> then my, that, that year, my wife said, you know, it's a cool photo. Why don't you put it on some coffee cups, put some chocolate, in the cups, send it to your clients. So anyways, that turned out to be like, you know, 14, 1500 cups. From the cups, I put it on the, on, 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 on hats, like right. trucker hats and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just turned into like an amazing, it was like a weed that turned into like a, a wild thing. And so now we've given away over 15,000 hats and thousands of dollars worth of apparel. What, what happened was that there was such a desirability for that logo, for that little brand. Right. It doesn't have my name on it. It's just right. the tower, Tower right. 60 that I felt that, well, you know, if, if people really like it that much, they want it that much, then I'm gonna leverage it right. to give back. A lot of times they'll say, well, we're giving the proceeds, but you give everything, right? Give you 100%. give cost, you give... Everything. So every hat cost me about $10. Right. And I give, uh, and you, so you can do the math. Yeah. You know, over 15,000, you can just do the math there, right? This is the middle school, which used to be Raider Camp. Raider Camp? Yeah. Oh, I didn't Raiders know that. Players. Yeah. You know, we talked obviously a lot about the west side of El Segundo. But the east side, you've got a lot going on. In the last, in the last couple of years, two and a half years, nearly 200 new companies have come into El Segundo. Wow. El Segundo has 15 of the Fortune 500 companies here in, in town. El Segundo is a small town, but it's a giant. The only other place that has that many Fortune 500 companies is San Francisco. Because the quality of education that you have in El Segundo, it, it, you don't have it on the west side. The west side is LA Unified School District. Where from El Segundo to PV, it's all El Segundo Unified, Manhattan Beach Unified, Hermosa, Redondo, Torrance, and so on. So the quality of education is much higher from El Segundo to PV, and that becomes a number one motivating factor for for individuals to move to El Segundo to PV. Right. El Segundo has the Lakers, has the Kings, you said the Raiders. Yep. I mean, that, for a small city, how many, what do you know what the population of El Segundo is? Uh, it, it varies right around 16,000. 16,000. 5,000 residences in El Segundo. So do you see LeBron James running around town? No, I haven't. Yeah. No, but if he's looking for a house. Um, <laughs> LeBron, you're the man to call. Alex does a ton of recreational things. Run through everything. You got motocross. Well, you know, obviously, you know, I started with surfing. All right. I played semi-pro soccer. Because oh. I'm, you know, being from Argentina, that's what you do is like breathing. Right. <laughs> I consider myself a waterman because surfing is my number one probably passion. It's part of my life. Um, race motocross, ride motocross. Um, you know, I, I love everything that you can put fuel into. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit of a speed junkie. 
I, I love anything that kind of goes fast. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm actually living my dream, man. Oh, it's, it's, I love I, hearing I, I, that. I'm, it's just one of those things. I came from Argentina. Right. No English, no money. My dad had, you know, less than $100 in his pocket. And we came for the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to break the chains of poverty. Right. God bless this country. It gave us that opportunity. Work really, really hard. Always creating the, the change that you want. Life is a bit of a garden. You know, it's, it's how you cultivate it, right. how you plant it, and then how it grows, and then you see the fruits of it. Right. And I look at my family, and I tend to see a bit of that. And I'm oh, really happy good. about what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm yeah, looking yeah. at my kids. They both turned out amazing. Right. You know, uh, I'm looking at my grandkids. They're amazing. I got four girls. How four old grandkids. are they? Grandkids. From, from 10 right. to, to 4. Wow. Amazing, beautiful girls. Strong yeah. girls. And uh, so it's pretty amazing. So I find myself extremely blessed, man. It's your living right, and, and I love to see that. I think I know personally that you've been a hard worker, and now you know how to enjoy that. So that's Absolutely. it's always fun. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, that's really... That's what life's really about. Follow your passion. Yeah. The greatest, the, your greatest commodity is, is, is your time and your health. Okay. If you got those two things and, and do the things that yeah. you love to do, right. you're extremely wealthy. Right. You know, so I've, 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 kept, I've kept my focus on making sure that I'm still doing those things that I love to do.